everyone welcome back to cyber secure tv uh, this week we'll continue our insecure uh, going deep into the insecure decentralization vulnerability and since we were talking about the php i'm gonna just continue the talk and, and we'll explore different areas uh, of exploitation and and of course we're gonna see the demo at the end so uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already and let's get into this uh, so today's uh, topic is more about the far phar that's a uh, Kind of like an archival format in the php but before we uh, dig into that let's look at what is the stream wrapper or, or what is the streaming right so uh, streaming in general uh, you would say like uh, if you if you know the cloud technology right uh, for example aws offers like kinesis and where you pass a stream of data from one service to another uh, same way if you have to pass like a stream of data uh, within the application you can use the stream wrapper class so what it does is it's gonna stream all the things like all the objects all the metadata and then pass it along it's much easier uh, just like serialization so if you if you read this one it says allows you to implement your own protocol handlers and streams for use with all the other file systems functions such as f open f read and etc uh, this is not a real class uh, and an instance of this class is initialized as soon as the stream function tries to access the protocol it is associated with it so now the question is what are the protocols that supports the stream wrapper class uh, so right now uh, if you if you see uh, the PHP uh, there, there are several types and, and like you know some of this might be familiar to you such as like file uh, generally we use it as file colon hyphen hyphen uh, sorry forward slash forward slash and then you put the file location right so same as HTTP FTP PHP uh, then they have multiple different uh, formats the one which is uh, we're gonna uh, see the demo and and actually gonna exploit is the far uh, which is this one and and we'll let's let's get into like what uh, let's see like what is the fire extension so the fire extensions provides a way to put entire php applications into a single file called far the php archive for easy distribution and installation in addition uh, to providing this service the fire extension also provides a file format abstractions method for creating and manipulating tar and zip files through far data class much as pdo provides a unified interface for accessing different databases so uh, from the description uh, as you can imagine like far is you archive uh, they uh, you can actually archive the entire applications and and pass it along or you can also archive a couple of objects uh, uh, classes and then and then also pass it to the another uh, like you know another uh, class or maybe another application so why is this vulnerable like why 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 do you think it's vulnerable so we'll, we'll look into that in the next slide uh another another simple definition here is what is far far archives are best categorized as convenient way to group several files into a single file as such a far archive provides a way to distribute a complete php application in a single file run it from the file without the need to extract it to the disk additionally archive can be executed by php as easily as any other file both on the command line and from a web server far is kind of like a thumb drive for php application now uh, as we saw earlier this is functionality is ex actually implements uh, through the stream wrapper normally we to use an external file within php script you would use include right so this is the header that you would declare in the php uh, uh, pi, uh, file or php code to include any external file now the same way if you let's say uh, like you know if you have to as i said like file colon forward slash forward slash and then you put the part to the file in order to uh, like you know initiate the far archive you put the far uh, protocol or type in in front of it so now it will uh, like you know it will include this as a as a far archive and and the extension is also phar so after you uh, put the objects together uh, you can actually uh, uh, archive it and then pass pass it or include it into the remote file so this is the introduction of like what is far so before uh, we get into like how do we exploit it i want to make sure you understand what is far and 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 but just as in the simple word uh, so you can understand you can combine one or more files into uh, an archive which is and then then access using this far protocol 
Now let's see an example. This might make it much more clear. So here you have a PHP a code and there is one class, right? Class A. And then you are creating a new uh, far variable and name it as test.far and then you say start buffering. So what it means is now you can put whatever you want in this archive. So first we're gonna add from string. We're gonna put a txt file and string is test. Uh, then we're gonna this is set stuff this is a standard uh, like you know a code for the far and then you can create a new object of this class a and add the metadata as this object so the object that we created and then you stop buffering now let's assume there is there, of course each class has a fu function destruct and there is a line added like in destruct so we want to debug this code and see like and all the deserialization vulnerability happens because we saw in the previous video, so I'm not gonna explain again. But if you haven't, then do definitely check that out uh, because uh, this destruct uh, function is called automatically uh, upon certain operation. So here, let's say uh, we echo uh, file uh, get contents and then we access this file.txt. Now, if I run this on my command line, uh, it says like you know php fargen.php it's gonna test because this is a test string and then it's also gonna going to uh, uh, like you know display in destruct because that means uh, when when uh, when php try to uh, unarchive or deserialize this far archive it actually uh, destruct uh, function was called and this was echoed so you can actually uh, do the remote code execution what if like you know instead of this test i i would have i could include my own uh, code or like you know any any malicious code so that means it's going to be executed uh, whenever the destructs will destruct will be called so how do we exploit uh, the simplest way uh, like you know uh, of course you as an attacker you must need to find and craft a perf like you know far file a PHAR um, and, and then upload onto the targeted web server. But suppose uh, if let's say uh, you can upload any file to the web server, then why do you even need a, need a FAR file? You can like, you know, upload any EXE or, or any executables uh, which could uh, treat as like, you know, which could be treated as a malware on the remote server. So that's not really a, a new thing that we would uh, we could discuss here or we would find here. The interesting thing here is whenever there is a file operation uh, such as like you know not not like uh, uh, I, w I wouldn't say like file open or file close or, or something like that but something like file exist right uh, or, or I think specifically in the uh, in the PHP it says file underscore exist and then you put the file name and then it will give you whether file exists or not but in that file exist, if you are able to put the far file, so it's gonna actually deserialize that archive and execute the code, that's a vulnerability because that file exist function or file underscore exist is not considered very security sensitive. F open uh, include uh, read content and then like, you know, file get content and then uh, only file. So all of these functions are pretty critical and, and I'm sure like all the developers would pay attention to it because you do not want user to control those functions or what it gets like input into those functions. But file exists, I don't think so. Uh, everyone will uh, like, you know, pay much attention to that. So what we simply need to do is you can uh, create a fake JPEG file, uh, put the code in that and then uh, try to upload. And, and hoping that you find a find a function called file exist and then if the function is uh, there then it's gonna be able to like you know deserialize and 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 probably do the remote code execution so don't worry if you if you still if you are still not clear um, we'll, we'll see an example we'll see a demo so that will that will make this much more clear so here is our uh, like you know test site we're gonna use this is of course from burp suite and uh, as you can see the status is not solved uh, this is one of the export level uh, uh, lab so uh, probably it might take a while uh, to get this through but uh, let, let's see 
So here, as you can see, once you log into the account, it, it requires you to upload the avatar. So you can upload any image. So let's uh, like, you know, make sure, let me turn on the intercept here and then go down, choose the file you want to upload. I'm gonna choose one of the minions and then upload and let's observe the traffic. Okay, so it says my account and then there's this path and then this is the content of the file, all good. Let's hit next. Uh, here you can see uh, a tarp.php. Now, actually, if you are also doing like a passive scan or spidering, you can also observe one of the other thing. Okay, all of this is okay. Uh, let's turn the intercept off, go to the repeater. And uh, if you send this file and see it's 200 okay with bunch of uh, file, a bunch of content. Now let's go to the CGI bin and uh, this is actually not kind of a directory traversal but gives you the index of what it has and and one other thing you would also notice is this tile sign so this is uh, specially used or there's a like common practice to use to store like a previous version of the file or, or the backup files so when you are doing the pen testing, uh, this is outside of insecure serialization. But whenever you are pen testing, try to look for these files. I'm sure like most of the scanner does that, and sometimes you have also seen the vulnerabilities where it's like oh backup file detected or, or old version of the file detected. So this is how the scanner detects. So let's let's try to access this because this is under the CGI bin. So I'm just going to put that in here uh, and let's say send. Okay, so there is a custom class here. There's a private variable. There's a function construct. Uh, is template logged? And there you can see there's a, a function called file exist. And it says lock file path. So the provided file path, it's gonna lock it. And then you have the get template. Uh, then you have the save template, right? So this is, uh, but the main 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 line is this one. Uh, let's Let's see the other file we have in this index okay we have blog.php so let's look at the content of that mm, right here okay send okay here uh, we have the class called blog uh, we have two public variables one private it says twig uh, uh, if you remember one of the previous video we did for the server side template injection uh, that's using the tweak template and we know we we actually saw how to inject the template in the tweak so this might be one of it one of the example so here you have the construct where we are setting the uh, use uh, the variables like user and description uh, which probably will get from uh, whenever the object is created right so construct is mostly used when you want to construct an, a new object uh, to string it's uh, a render index of user this user then there's a wake up function and tweak environment and slip okay so everything seems obvious there is a description and the user which is coming in uh, coming from the user so if there is a way we can put this in here and then uh, the description is going to be used by the by the previous file which we saw here uh, not this one sorry uh, the custom template because it has the file path. Oh, not this, sorry. Uh, okay. No. Yeah, uh, here you can see the log file path, right? So that is where it's coming from. So what we uh, need to do is, uh, of course, it's using the tweak format. So we can use something like this, and you can also find this uh, information on the burp solution path. Uh, uh, page so uh, uh, we have seen this uh, we actually saw this before earlier in that in that video for server side template injection and, and how to write this uh, injection attack so I'm not gonna uh, uh, explain what this the self and environment and all of this mean if you haven't already if you don't know that already uh, please check out that video okay so what we're gonna do is we now need to inject an image upload the jpeg file right right now we have the minion that i have uploaded but instead of that i want to upload a file which has this uh, remote code execution uh, for that we'll we'll 
uh, create one class called custom template with the same uh, of course the class name has to be the same or has to match with the with the actual website you're gonna another create another class with the blog uh, we'll, we'll create a new object for the custom template uh, of course for the blog as well then blog description we're gonna put this uh, remote code execution payload uh, user will set it as user and then in the object template file path which is actually being passed onto the file exist we're gonna put this block right so this is what we're gonna do it uh, I have already uh, burp has already like you can you can actually let me show you this so you can use this uh, uh, a polygon jpeg uh, library to actually create uh, that like you know uh, uh, polygot file which is like jpeg file including the code of the php so you can you can use this this is very straightforward it gives you the example here and then you just put your code in here and it will give you the uh, image file whichever you want so now let's uh, turn the intercept on again and go here let's choose the file so this is the one uh, which is a uh, polygot file with the code right so oops okay now let's go to the upload here okay so this is this looks good good okay that's fine too okay here instead of uh winner winner what we want to do is we want to put our far protocol so it actually like you know uh, destruct or retrieves that I don't know if uh, let me make sure the response is also captured okay okay let's see we cannot see that but as you can see the lab is solved so what did we do in that is straightforward uh, if you see uh, the goal was to remove uh, the moral.txt that was like you know the objective of the lab so uh, for that we need to uh, somehow we needed to execute our code onto the web server and how we did that by using the server side name template injection but how did we inject that using the far archive and and we already saw like what is far archive and and how it is used and and like you know how does it call the destruct function and construct function so uh, based on that uh, you can uh, so whenever you find such uh, like you know uh, this is mostly I, I found such issues mostly by doing sort of like a code review uh, like when, when when you have some code review static code analysis tools you can actually go through the code and, and it will flag if any of these uh, functions are, are visible which is which sounds super sensitive of course the tool will will itself not be sufficient or confident enough to flag this as a vulnerability so uh, you will have to kind of uh, review the source and the sync and then then pretty much uh, objectify whether this is something that can be exploitable or not uh, of course by just looking at the uh, penetration testing like uh, this was php and and this is ma meant for the php the far archive so it's easier uh, for you to look at the php code and find out uh, of course the real world application might not be this easier uh, we'll in the future we'll, we'll also look at some other examples which will make it much more easier all right so uh, that is all right so that is it uh, from this week uh, hopefully you have learned something new and do try this out lab by yourself i have put all the links in the description uh, for you to try it out and let me know if there are any other questions. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.